Hey everyone! On this video, I wanted to share with you some combinations I did of reflective glitters here. I thought it would be a cool inspiration, and my inspiration was Hollow Taco's release last year, the Disco Dust one, where they have a multicolored reflective glitter. I thought it was pretty cool, and I want to see if I could replicate it just combining the colorful reflective glitters I have. So here on the start, I'm showing you each of the polishes and I'm mixing them all by eye, <laughs> nothing very scientific here. One problem I could see right up front when I was showing the polishes was that too many pinks, like too many warm colors also. They make up for like half the colors. We have like three pinks, a green, a blue, and a silver. So I thought that could show up in the end result, but let's stick with it. In the start, there were some pockets of the colors here on the, on the jar, but I tried to mix them up as much as I could. I also noticed the quantity was a bit low, so I also mixed it up a little bit more. And after mixing up a lot, you can see we end up with this like grayish color and a lot of that pink coming through. And with the flash coming through, you can see very nicely all the little individual colors. I thought that was pretty cool. And to use it on my nails, I did like directly over the naked nail, I did around three coats, because that's usually what I do for the individual glitters themselves to look okay if you don't have any colors underneath it. So that's what I did for our little mix here as well. And the coverage, I think it was very similar to the individual glitters as well. It wasn't like more sparse or more dense. I think like very similar. Also like the regular glitters themselves, th this one dries matte. I don't know if this is just these reflective glitters I have or if this is all reflective glitters, but just as a note there, so I did have to go in with a very thick top coat to smooth out the glitters and to also get rid of that matte effect. And to be honest, like I really like this end result. I think you can really see the individual colors in the combination there. And again, even though there's a lot of pink, I still like it. And I know in the future I can mix a different quantity of each color if I want a different result. And I wanted to compare how this would look versus just piling on all the polishes on top of one another. You know, instead of going through all the trouble of mixing in the different jar, just doing it directly on the nail. And in this process, it's pretty clear how some colors are really overpowering. I'm showing with and without the flash. And you can see as soon as I put some of them on, all the ones below it are like gone. You can't even see like, where's the green? Gone, completely gone. So it looks very different than mixing it separately. I think the separate mix, you can see the individual colors much better. They're spread out in a much equal way to each other versus this piling on. Plus, you get like a bunch of layers on your nail. I know some people don't like this. This is a pretty thick polish because of the glitter also. So having the mixed separately, at least it's just one layer if you just want to do it as a top coat or just three layers if you want full coverage. And I'm going to show in the video later on, mixing just a couple of colors like this, and I think that's a much better alternative if this is something you're going for, if you have like colorful reflective glitters and you want to do some different combinations.
and comparing the nails, you can see like totally different. Some other tests I wanted to make as well is how this combination would look on top of other colors. Here I have four types of colors to test over. I have like a very sheer white, which is this first one, then a gray, a nude color, and a black, just to see how it behaves on these different colors. And I think over black is where you can see it better. No wonder that's the color they use for the Holo Taco promo shots. And I think it looks pretty close, to be honest. But yeah, the black definitely brings out the colors and the reflective glitters a lot more. Looking at all of them, I think just the white one, I didn't like it. All the other ones are okay. To be honest, over this, the nude and the gray, I think you can barely see the mixture of colors. You can just get away with using a regular reflective glitter of just one color. I don't think you needed the mixture here. I think only over black you can really see the individual colors. And here going in with the top coat to smooth out the glitters and get rid of that matte effect that this polish has. And the top coat will not affect the reflectiveness of the glitters, so they'll still be shiny, they'll still be reflective. And comparing side by side, I, I think it's pretty close. Not the same, but you know, I think it's close enough. And you can do more colors over like the black or the other colors if you want a little denser glitter population on your nail. <laughs> but I think in this case here for this type of polish and for my personal taste, one layer is more than enough. And I think over black looks even better than over the naked nail. Even though I think the naked nail, you could also see the individual colors. I mean, the black is still the one that shows them better. And now what I mentioned, uh, combining the colors but not all of them so here i'm trying to do complementary colors so i did the blue and one of the pinks here and they were both like very dominant when i did the combinations of all of them and i think it looks pretty cute did it over black here but you could maybe do it over an already blue or pink polish maybe it would look okay and next, some more complementary colors here, the green and the pink. This is a different shade of pink than the other nail. I liked as well, the green was one that did not come true when I did the combination all on top of each other on the other nail. So here I tried to do the green last. And you can see both colors pretty well, the green and the pink. So I think this is a good alternative if you want the combinations of color on your reflective and you have the individual colors, you can just do them like this. And last but not least, I wanted to see what it would look like sponged on because I know that's a technique that sometimes people use for reflective glitters or glitters in general. I did it over the nail I had already painted because it was just to see kind of how it would behave. And I really like the texture. I think it looks more like a diamond. It doesn't look as sparse as just painting it on. So I definitely like that. I think sponging it on definitely is different. And for my taste, I think it looked better. So also an option. And if you don't want to do as many layers, you can just sponge it on.
And that's it. Here are some pictures of how the nails looked and all the combinations. I hope these were some cool inspirations for you. And thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.